Hello Cancer, welcome to your March 2018 general reading. Please keep in mind that it is a general reading and it might not resonate with you. If it doesn't, um, take a look at your moon and rising signs. Take a look anyway because it gives you a, a much more well-rounded idea of the month. I also do have my year ahead readings available up on my website. The link will be below. And I want to thank you for viewing, subscribing, and sharing. Let's get to your reading. Bottom of the deck card is the Emperor. So that is your overall energy. And that is all about confidence and standing in your power and your truth and your authentic self and all of the above. I mean, this is a guy who builds empires and then runs them like, like it's you know, the easiest thing to do on the planet. So just have the com confidence to move yourself forward the way you're being guided to. Now, I always do with these readings, the Celtic Cross, I always have four cards over here. And I don't share them with you guys because these cards are for me, it's a condensed version of this part of the reading. So it just kind of confirms what's going on over here. And so far what I'm getting from the condensed is um, some of you are in relationships currently, but there's someone else that you really want to be with. You're not with the person you want to be with. Um, you know, like the person you're thinking about being with is somebody that you're thinking you want to be with for life. So it's somebody extremely special to you, possibly even a twin flame, but at the very least a soulmate. So anyways, you're currently in a relationship. Well, you know what, before I go any further, I've had, I've had some... Um, viewers that want to know the cards because they are a little blurry. Okay, so you got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. You've got Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Six of Cups, King of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups, Seven of Wands, Judgment, Ten of Cups, and Eight of Cups. So now to get back to the story, the way I see it, some of you are already in an existing relationship. You know that's not the person that you're meant to be with for life. You do know who it is that you do want to be with or you think you want to spend the rest of your life with. There's someone very special out there for you. And you're hoping that they are going to contact you or make a move of some kind to... Um, because you're unsure of how they feel. But unfortunately, with what I'm hearing, you need to let go of what you're in before that can come forward, okay? This is something that I feel you've wanted for a while. You've maybe even worked on it for a while. It just has never come to fruition. Now, this other person, the person that you need to walk away from could be a wands, which is a fire sign. So that would be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Now, it can be anybody. It can be any sign, okay? That's just what's here. And it could be that that's in their chart somewhere and you're not aware of it. But definitely if that's a sun sign and that's somebody you're with that you're thinking about moving on from then that's for you it could also be a pentacle okay so it could be a Virgo Capricorn or Taurus but again like I said it can be any sign they may just have one of these in their chart and you don't know it um, you definitely feel like this person that you want in your life is destiny, destiny, that this person is your destiny. That's what you're thinking. That's, now it is someone from the past. That's a given. We've got the Six of Cups here, and Six of Cups is in the past. So um, it could mean that, you know, this is maybe a third go-round with this person. Maybe 
they were from the past and they came back around and it didn't work out so this would be the third go round for some of you not all of you this could just mean that this person is in the past they're not currently in your life right now this wands king or queen of wands is moving through so that's why I say that's likely the person for a lot of you that you need to let go of. Um, and in your immediate future, you've got the Two of Cups, you know. So they're drawing me back here because I didn't really deal with the Five of Swords. Now, the Three of Wands in your present, that's you waiting for your ship to come in, so to speak. You're, you're waiting and wanting this other person to come forward and let you know that they still want you in their life. But that is not supposed to happen, and it won't happen until you let go of the person you're currently with. It can't happen that way. And the reason being is the Five of Swords. This, this card is all about um, biting off more than you can chew, okay? So it just, it, it would ruin any chance you had with the new person, well, the person from the past, you still being in a relationship with this person or whoever it is, and then, you know, starting to make the moves towards this person from your past, that would be overwhelming for you. It would be too much. It, it, it would ruin this new start, okay? So that's why uh, the universe is not going to let that happen. This is what's coming in your immediate future. The Two of Cups, that is the two of you coming together, being together as a couple. And it is in your immediate future. And this timing, the timing in this position here is anywhere from zero to zero days to three months, okay? But it's a future card. And the future is up to you, okay? And you know it. You know you need to walk away. Okay, so, but you're also afraid of the competition. You're afraid. So either, either some of you are jealous. Because this person from your past that you want to be together with again is... Okay, so for some of you, okay, in the readings, if it doesn't resonate with you, it could be your the other person, okay? So if it's not you in a relationship that you need to walk away from before you can have this person from the past, it's them. Someone. Someone in this story needs to walk away from someone else before cancer, you and this person from the past can come together. Now, either you have to walk away from a current relationship or this person from the past does. For some of you, it's the person from the past because some of you with this Seven of Wands, it's telling me this, I'm hearing jealousy. So this person from the past, if they're with somebody, it's making you jealous. For others, this is about competition. You're afraid that you're not good enough for this person from the past. You're afraid you'll have to compete possibly with the person they're currently with. You don't think you stand up. But in your environment, you have the judgment card. And for me, that's all about rising up from the ashes. It's, it's second chances. It's second go-rounds, okay? So you do have this coming back around to you. You just, if it's you that's in the relationship, let go. You've got the Eight of Cups as the outcome card. You have to let go. And if it's this person from the past that's in a relationship, there's nothing you can do 
until they let go, until they walk away from the relationship they're in. Something has to be walked away from by one of you, by someone here in this story. And you are hoping to have this Ten of Cups relationship, the perfect be-all, end-all relationship. And you can. You can have it. But one of you, whoever it is, definitely someone has to walk away from a relationship. I'm going to show you the four cards I have over here because I want you to see how I know that for sure. So you've got the King of Pentacles. This could be a king or a queen. This could be your person from the past. Okay. And then we've got the Knight of Wands. So that's you having, you know, wanting to, to move forward with this passionate message to this person. Because Knights are all about forward movement and Wands are fire. They're all about passion and drive and ambition and you really want to move forward. And you are holding on tight or someone is holding on very tightly to what they've got right now. And that is this relationship. But it needs to be ended. The Three of Swords, it's all about heartbreak. It's all about endings. It's all about... Um, it's all about three-party relationships. You know, and, and you could kind of class this as a, a third-party relationship or three parties because you've got the person from the past, you've got the person from the present, and yourself. That's three people. You're not all three of you, you know, you're not in a relationship with someone else while you're in a relationship with this person, and neither are they. But there are three people. It's in your thoughts. Okay, this person, this person from the past is in your thoughts while you're with somebody. So that is, in a sense, three-party. And someone needs to be the emperor. Somebody needs to stand up, take a stand, have some confidence, and end what isn't good for you. Let go of it. Walk away from it. And don't don't uh, worry that you you aren't good enough. You're not you can't compete with whatever you might need to compete with because you you do end up in the very near future with this relationship. But you have, if it's you, you have to make the move. You have to end this karmic relationship that you're in that you know is no good for you anyways. Now, those of you that are in a relationship and you're really happy and you're not leaving, please don't leave me comments. This isn't about you. This is about the people that are in a relationship. They know it's not the one they want. They know who they want to be with, and they haven't made the move yet. They just haven't ended it. But you need to. You need to. It has to happen or the other person has to end it before this can take place, before the two of you can come together. So this zero to three month timing here depends on the timing of this walking away. It all hinges on this other relationship ending. Wow, Cancer. Not going to be easy. for somebody. But you know what? Once you make that move or once they make that move, like that, it's going to be fast. The two of you are going to come together and it is going to be this Ten of Cups relationship. It is destined and it's going to it's going to happen extremely fast. But right now, it's barely moving because someone has to get rid of someone first and you know what you're doing that person a favor whoever has to break up is doing the other person a favor because if they're not right for you or your partner then you're not right for them either so you're just holding them back from their right person this overall is a really good reading cancer but you know there is a step in there that has to be taken that's not going to be pleasant for somebody but keep in mind, too, 
that this is destined. It's fated. And if whoever needs to take this step forward to end the relationship doesn't do it, the universe will step in and you will be hit with the tower card. The universe will make it end and it never is easier that way. It's easier if you do it yourself. Just do it. Rip that band-aid off because you have really good things coming your way once you do or whoever does. Okay? Wow, I did. This was actually a really good reading, Cancer. I hope it resonated with you. If it didn't, please check out your moon and rising signs. Thanks for viewing and subscribing and sharing. Until next time.